Hello guys, I made a simple unbeatable game in React JS and the main rule of this game is to just click on this ball but whenever you move your mouse close to this ball the ball changes its position and for winning this game you just need to click on this ball so I am just demonstrating it by playing one time so just see how this game works so I am just moving my cursor near to ball to click it but yeah. Sometimes it might take some time to click. A few moments later. Two thousand years later. Yes, I win. As you can see, I am the master in this game. So I think enough for the demonstration and playing. Just build this app or build this game from the scratch. So let's start. I opened my React app in the VS Code and also start the development server. So this is what our React app now looks like. It's just a simple page with one text. Let's build. So let's build. Firstly, just create the structure of our game. So in our game we have one heading and the heading is just the name of our game and that's called click me if you can so I'm just writing click me if you can and after that we have one counter and there we can see the number of attempt we have applied the number of attempt I'm just giving it as a blank or just writing a number for the placeholder and after that we have some message so just writing message so just save this and see the output you can see click me if you can number of items and see number and one message so I'm just writing some CSS for later looking so this is heading and this is a normal text and this is also the normal there is no need to add any CSS in this so and for the ball I am writing some class name as ball and oh by the way we don't need to put anything inside that so if I just save this and in the apps.css I write in some CSS so this is the CSS for the ball I made it position absolute and padding 20, margin 20 and width and height as 20 pixels and also a background color as red and border radius 50 which makes it round so also heading and FCSS and written so just see so you can see our heading is totally fine but I just need it to be a h1 tab so or suppose I need to in h2 okay so just save this okay you can see our app is looking like good also our ball is completely fine so now just move this ball whenever we over a mouse near to it so for that we just need some CSS for that so for CSS or style in JSX we need to write this type of syntax so style inside curly braces we declared one object by the way, we will see the more styling part in one of the later videos where I explain everything about the styling in React. So just up now, just see this as like this. So I'm just providing a stop or just firstly just put the left. Left as suppose 20% or the top as 30%. So just see what will happen now. So you can see our ball is moving. If I increase the left. So suppose I increase it 30 so our ball will came here so we will change this number 30 or 30 or any, to any number with the help of the state of our year so just quickly import our use state hook so import use state from react and also just write some syntax for using it and initially I will use one array for the x or the top left value for one 
a component or on one element and the top for another so by default i will give us 10 10 in the state initial state so and i just need to change it so position zero and plus so it will concatenate this so just copying this and we'll use this here so similarly but it will be one so just see what will happen if i save this you can see this will came one person and one person left and one person from the top so if i change it to 20 and see the output it's came 20 so this is with the help of the use state you can change the position of the ball so in that case we will use two event com or the two event attribute in the jsx one is the on click and one is the on mouse over if you don't know anything about event handling then you can watch my react js event handling video in this video i explain if and everything of the event handling in react so if you already watched that video just then continue so i will use on mouse over so just write on mouse over and this event handler will run one function and this function will be run whenever we move our mouse over this ball div so just name this i will name it as position change function so just write position change we need to declare this function as well so i am using one arrow function and inside the position change i just need to randomly give the values inside the position array so firstly just create some random values so math.random will be will provide us the random values so just like x i am also providing y as random value so just also console log for seeing what happens or what will we get in the mentor random so just first of all just write this function and i'm opening the console log Oops. okay so i'm just going in the console and you can see already we have some values i'm just clearing this okay so if i move my mouse over you can see something came inside the console log because whenever i move my mouse over this component or this deep component this function will execute and in this function we randomly generated x and y variables and also console this so you can see in this console the x value and the y value are in the pointing range from 0 to 1 so if i also over some more time you can see this value are nearly about the 0 to 1 so but in our web page we don't have 0 and 1 we have 0 percent to 100 percent so for that i am just changing the pointing value by 100 so i'm just multiplying it 100 so after that if i close or clear this you can see the range come from 0 to 100 you can see i sometimes okay you can see this range increases from 0 to 100 so we can use this so after that i just wanted to set my position with this x and y so this is how you can set our ex state so if i save this you can see if i close this or clear this or you can see whenever i move near closer this ball you can see our ball changes its position and also you can see the coordinates that it is 64 percent from the left and 21 percent from the top and also you can see similar type of output and in now 39 percent from the left and 58 percent from the top so our mouse or the ball moving part is completed so let's increase the number of attempts we have done for clicking this ball also just before that just made one function to declare whether you click the ball or not so for that we need to provide one again another event listeners or event handler this is on click and i just providing one function name that is the end because whenever we click the ball the game ends so const the end Oops, yes, okay. I'm providing in the arrow function and in this no. Okay, so we just need to write again one state and for the message. So I'm just providing a by default message as keep trying. Trying feelings I hope I am okay. So just change it to message and set message. 
and just change it to here okay so if i save this oops there is an error so set message and just think what will we write we just write you on just like this okay i don't know how many of you will win so i'm just write writing this so one mouse over position change will run and one click the end will run so if i save this and go you can see the message it's keep trying but i actually can't create okay so if i just temporarily disable this and just save this so just see if i click on this the message changes or not okay you can see our message changes whenever we click on this ball so just rebuild it so control z so i think our okay so we need to just provide one number so for attempt so just write one more state so in this case i initializing or starting from zero and i'm just writing set attempt and attempt attempt okay i'm just copying this and here I am providing the number and whenever we the position change will occur I need to also just set our attempt as plus one attempt is attempt plus one okay so if I save this and see the output you can see whenever we move the mouse closer to this ball the ball changes its position and also our attempt is increasing but <laughs> we can't actually click on this ball because whenever our mouse over the ball there was a few millisecond of time to click on this ball otherwise the ball will move this position okay so keep trying this is a winning this game okay i win guys <laughs> and just see if i can do anything else okay i think this is all for the game i hope you will like this by the way it's not moving i win wow oh. i think okay okay i don't give the class oops on mouse over so if i save this let's see reload this page on my screen okay so our game is completed bro it's still an annoying game i can't win this okay so this is it for this video i hope you like this video and if you like this video or if you like this game then please like and also comment and also please share this video for viewing this amazing type of video or amazing type of games so see you in the next video bye bye but please subscribe <laughs>